Hi, this is Deanne Rice at DeanneRice.com and I am going to show you in this video how to upload videos to a WordPress blog post. Now I'm going to show you two different ways, one using YouTube and the other using an FTP program. So now I use Camtasia for it and so that's what I'm going to show you at the beginning. If you don't have Camtasia, a lot of it's the same after we get into it. If you do, um, you'll be able to see it using Camtasia. But So let's go on over here to Camtasia. And here I have the video up that I'm going to use. I've marked this one YouTube. I've made one video. I'm going to upload it twice. And I'm not going to edit it or anything. It's just a little one-minute video. Um, so what I'm going to do is hit, click up here at Produce and Share. Oops. I guess I need to add it to my timeline first. Okay, so now I'm going to pick how I want to do it. I want to do YouTube, and Camtasia is easy because it allows you to just pick how you want to do it. So here we go. Now we're going to pick YouTube again. Next. Okay, I'm going to sign into YouTube, and I need to do a title. For my um, my video, now this is what you would do for your video. I'm not necessarily going to make this video public, but in order to show you how I would do it for YouTube, so I'm going to put how to upload a video. And for my description, I always like to put my website in the beginning of my description. So I'm going to put .tianrice.com. And then um, how to upload a video to a WordPress blog. Now it's a short description. You need tags. And so for a tag, I'm going to put video, WordPress, oops, and blog. It's in how to. You'd want to put share a video with the world. I'll go ahead and do that on this. I'm probably going to change it. Um, I, what I want is my final video to be where everyone can find it, and this will actually be the title of my final video. But I'm going to show you how to do it using this here, and then I'm going to click Finish. Now, it's going to take a little bit of time for this to render and upload, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and stop the recording and come back after it's all uploaded. Okay, so we're back and it has uploaded and produced the video to YouTube. Now it's coming over to YouTube. And here it is, how to upload a video. And it is um, being processed. So I'm going to pause it again until it gets done being processed. Okay, here we are again. Now the video has been processed. Here it is. And the, it says the video is public. Here is where I put the description. And down here where it says show me more, we need to go there. And we need to find where it says share. And we're going to go to where it says share. And if you want to link to the video, this is what you use here. But we want to embed the video. So we're going to go to embed. And here's the little bit of code you need. So what I'm going to do, it's already highlighted. I'm going to go control C, copy that code. And I'm going to bring up a notepad right here. I'm going to copy that little bit of code onto this notepad so that I've got it. And that's going to go put the video into our website. So I'm going to put that down now and I'm going to go over now I'm going to go over and show you where we're going to put this um, this video. So this is the post that I've already made and I've written a little bit. I have my little um, picture I found there about making a video. And here's where the video is going to go that I'm making right now. 
and then down here below this writing here is going to be where I'm going to put this video the YouTube video and the other video so in order to put a YouTube video in I need to go to the back office the HTML and I am going to add this video with this code so I want to bring up our um, notepad again copy the code to reduce it. I'm going to put this code in. So I'm okay, so we have the code in there. I'm going to go down here, save it as a draft, and then we'll go over to the website. And if I click refresh and go down, we can see the video is too big. So what I want to do is go back over to this code. And I need it to be right at 500. And I know that if I make this 499 by 310, it's going to be right. So I'm going to come back down here and save as a draft again. And there it is. That is a video that is loaded from YouTube. Now I want to go back and I want to upload another video and I'd like to do that through an FTP program so I'm going to go ahead and pause this go back to the beginning get set up and show you how to move through and put a video uploaded from an FTP program and see what the difference in it is okay here we are back over at the Camtasia studio and I have the same video a copy of the video I did before this time I marked it FTP, so I'm going to drag it down here to my bar, and then this time we're going to do it for a blog or a web. So I'm going to click on that, and click OK, and share it. Reduce and share. And again, it's for on the web. My title, Upload Video. And I'm going to click Finish. And here it is. It's uploading again. And so for this process, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again until it gets done. And then we will come back and I'll show you how to do it from there. Here we are. This is what the video we just created looks like. It's, um, if we press this to play it, So that's what it looks like. Now we need to upload this onto our website. What we're going to do is get up an FTP program. I've got to go down to here's my video. Okay, here you see the file. All these things, this entire file has to be uploaded onto your website. Now, if you haven't done an FTP program before, just basically, this is my computer, and this is my website. So I need to go over here, and I want to find where I'm putting videos, which is right here in this fo folder. It's empty right now, so I want to upload this particular file into this video file, and it should not take too long. But when it gets uploaded, all of those things that are in the file, and I'll take you over here and look at this file. Here we go. There's a lot of different um, files in that particular folder. And so all of these things have to go. Now, I made a mistake. The first time I did it, I thought, aha. This is what I need. And I uploaded one or two of them, or I uploaded the MP4 fi um, file. And I could not figure out why my video would not play. I finally called a friend. She says, Deanne, you got to upload the entire folder. So, anyhow, that's what you have to do. All of these have to be uploaded in order for it to play. So, let's 
go back over here and it has finished uploading so in our folder video we now have upload video and within that we have all of these files so okay we're back over here and what we want to do now I have we have all these files and it's actually this file right here that is the flash file and that is the final um, file that we want in the um, URL for this video so we need to go back up here and this video is under videos under upload video and then upload video again underscore controller dot SWF so that's what we need to put in the um, URL and I've done it right here so we have dnrice.com forward slash video forward slash upload video forward slash upload video underscore controller dot SWF and you can see the video here it plays and I want it to stop it plays but this is not the final form but this is the the location of this particular video okay so I'm going to copy that I'm going to bring up my little notepad here again and I'm going to save it I'm going to go back to WordPress and come down here and I'm going to go on over and use the, use the visual editor. Now, I've been doing a lot of things in HTML, and one of those reasons is that lots of, sometimes when you use the visual editor, this little file right here, which does not want to highlight, um, leaves. And then the video's gone. But that's okay if it leaves while we're using the visual editor we'll just come back in stick it in at the end and then in html right the spot will be saved it'll be saved right here and then we won't go back to the visual editor again and it will be there so if your video leaves that's why so we're going to go over to the visual editor and scroll down down to here and this is where i want to put that video I am going to go ahead and use right here insert edit embed media in order to do this and it's going to come up and I'm going to put the URL right here which I have saved right here I'm going to go control C and control V and I want it to be this is kind of nice because I can put I want it to be 500 and it will make it the right um, dimension. So I'm going to hit insert and this is going to put the video, the flash videos don't show on um, on the visual. And now we're going to save this as a draft. There they are. Taking, there's the YouTube video and here's the one that we did with loading it with FTP program. And you can see how they look different. Now if I press this, it's going to play. Okay, there's your two types of videos. And I showed you how to upload them using both the YouTube and an FTP program. And I'm going to leave these two here. And now, um, and I am going to put the video that you're hearing me make, or you're watching, will be right here where this um, placeholder is. So this is Deanne Rice at DeanneRice.com and I hope this helped you learn how to upload a video to your blog post whether you want on YouTube or whether you just want to upload it without YouTube. Have a great day.